then it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas, one of my favorite times of the year. So today I'm going to share with you another holiday treat that you can make when you have friends and family over this season. Today we're making rock cakes. But even though the name is called rock cakes, it's really not hard. The name is derived from the shape of the treat, not the texture. Now in my background, you're gonna see a beautiful tree. Now this tree was handmade by a 12 year old of Benny Glasgow. She is so talented. I'm gonna put her telephone number to the bottom of the screen. If you are interested in having one of these beautiful trees to enhance the decor of your home for Christmas, you just need to give little Benny a call. I will leave all of her contact details in the description box below. Now, let's go over the ingredients. We have one pound of all-purpose flour, or about three and a half cups. We have half pound of softened butter, three quarter cups of brown sugar, two brown eggs. If you have white eggs, you can use them also. One quarter cup of milk, three quarter cups of raisins, and our spices. We have one teaspoon of cinnamon, one and a half teaspoon of baking powder, half teaspoon of ground spice, and half teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of vanilla essence to bring the flavor up and some cherries for decorating. Now these ingredients are enough to make 12 rock cakes. Now to start, we're gonna rub our fat into the flour. Now if you don't have a pastry cutter, you can use a knife or a fork, or some persons actually use their fingers to rub the fat into the flour, but I'm gonna use a fork today. So let's start. So we're gonna add our flour to a large bowl. Then I'm going to add softened butter. It's always easier when you have softened butter. It's going to rub better into the flour. So we're going to take the fork and we're going to break the butter apart. And we're going to change it to a breadcrumb-like consistency. We do this by rubbing the butter against the side of the bowl with the flour until the entire mixture takes on a bread crumb like consistency. This is called the rubbing in method. Now our butter would have been distributed completely among the flour using the rubbing in method. Now we are gonna add all of our dry ingredients together. We have our baking powder, cinnamon, ground spice and salt. So we're gonna add it to the mixture. And then I'm gonna use a whisk. And the whisk will allow me to distribute these ingredients now completely among our flour. Now I'm gonna add our egg mixture to our flour. We're gonna fold it in. It should be getting nice and moist. And then we're gonna add the milk. Now even though we have the quarter cup of milk we may not use all of it because it depends on the, the texture. When you see it's starting to come together, then you're gonna stop. We don't want it to be too loose, but we don't want it to be too tight. So we're gonna add the milk a bit at a time until we get the desired consistency. Then we're gonna start to put our rock cakes to bake. ahead and preheat the oven at this time to 250 degrees because we're going to be getting ready to put our rock cakes in the oven in a matter of minutes. Now you may need to get your hands all dirty so when we're putting the dough together you can use your hand use the base of your hand to knead the dough and it should not be sticky you should have a nice soft consistency and when you press your hand in it, it doesn't come back up too quickly. Don't know if I'm explaining that right, but make sure that when you touch it, it's not sticky. That should tell you that our dough is almost ready. Now the fun part, to put our rock cakes to bake. 
Now we're going to make sure we just pinch off a section. It's not going to be uniform because as the, the name suggests, rock cakes. We're just going to grab a piece, no particular shape, and we're going to put them in. Now the amount of ingredients that we have, like I said, are enough to make 12 rock cakes. But we're going to make six now and six later. Once I have it done, we're going to get ready to put it in the oven. Now the finishing touch to put the cherry on top. Once we would have completed this process, now it's time to bake. So we're going to put it in the oven for about 30 minutes or until all of our gorgeous rock cakes are nice and brown. You can smell them already. So once you're starting to bake, it's going to really smell like Christmas. <music> One of the beautiful things about Christmas is the smell of bread baking. And whenever you're baking and it lights up the entire room, it always reminds me of Christmas. Now it's time to taste this holiday treat. As the name suggests, all jagged. You can see certain parts are nice and brown. You can see a bit of the raisin peeping through. You can see the beautiful red at the top from the cherry. Lovely picture better to taste. Mmm. Mmm. So delicious. If you want to impress your holiday guests this Christmas, be sure to make this delicious treat. Rock cakes? Now you need to try it. Now if you enjoyed this holiday treat, you need to look over here and get some of my other desserts. And once you've watched them all, hit the button below, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you are notified every time I post a video. And remember to leave a comment. Don't forget, in the description box below, you're going to see the information about the beautiful tree by Benny Glasgow.